नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स ए डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग इफ टडे दी हैवी रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर दी कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश तमिलनाडु केरल कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड ओवर दी गोवा इफ टडे मैक्सिमम 11 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वाज रिपोर्टेड ओवर दी कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश मैक्सिमम 10 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल रिकॉर्डेड ओवर दी गोवा एंड मैक्सिमम 9 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर तमिलनाडु एंड केरला and if you look for the today's chief synoptic features then today morning uh, under the influence of cyclonic circulation over the south east arabian sea a low pressure area has formed over the east central arabian sea on today morning and over the comorian area a cyclonic circulation has formed today morning in the lower tropospheric levels over the north india the uh, steadies disturbance lies over the eastern parts of the pakistan in the middle tropospheric levels and today a fresh west and disturbance which is currently lies over the uh, iran and adjoining areas in the middle tropospheric levels can also be seen so because of these systems uh, mainly the uh, over the south peninsular india particularly tamil nadu and kerala very likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity mainly on today and tomorrow and isolated heavy rainfall activity will also uh, very likely over the coastal and pradesh and karnataka on today as far as the north west india is concerned so mainly the jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand very likely to receive uh, isolated uh, rainfall and snowfall activity till 10th of november and over the adjoining plains of uh, india such as the punjab haryana and northwest rajasthan likely to receive uh, light rainfall activity on 10th of november if we look for the weather forecast for the next 5 days so we can see uh, through this map that the major rainfall activity uh, will confined to over the south peninsular india so uh, uh, light to moderate rainfall activity over some parts of the south peninsular india very likely to continue during next 3 days that is till uh, 10th of november and from 11th of november the rainfall activity will gradually decrease over the peninsular india however the light rainfall activity it one or two places will continue and over the mainly over the uh, goa south konkan south madhya maharashtra rainfall activity uh, will continue till 10th of november from 11th of november over the goa south madhya maharashtra and south konkan also the rainfall activity will decrease as far as the north west india is concerned so light uh, rainfall or snowfall activity will start over the jammu kashmir and himachal pradesh from today and this activity will continue till 10th of november from 11th of november the rainfall activity or snowfall activity over the jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand will Uh, uh, will not be there from uh, from 11th of november and over the plains of northwest india such as the punjab haryana and northwest rajasthan also likely to receive light rainfall activity on 10th of november and in, even delhi ncr is likely to get uh, very light to light rainfall activity at one or two places on 10th of november and if you look for the weather warning then on today uh, isolated very heavy rainfall activity is very likely over the south tamil nadu and south kerala we have issued the orange alert for the south kerala and south tamil nadu for today and over the uh, goa south konkan and adjoining parts of the south madhya maharashtra and the karnataka likely to receive heavy rainfall activity on today yellow alert has been issued for all those regions tomorrow only heavy rainfall activity will be experienced at one or two places over the tamil nadu and kerala and from 10th of november onward that is 10th november 11th and 12th of november there will not be any heavy rainfall activity over the any parts of the country for more detailed weather information you can visit the imd website you can follow us on our facebook page our youtube channel and our twitter page thank you